and after after you finish he after you finish teaching um all of you are required to go into your own respective discord group okay so um to make sure that everyone is on the same page and that none of you are blur i'm just going to show you this one all right can you see can uh, can on to Hannah. okay okay so right after you finish your syllabus on google meet all right all of you are required to enter your own discord groups all right so for sg1 atira will go into discord group number one madia will go into discord group number two chini lofna will go into group number three isiani will go into group number four ami will go into group number five farah will go into group number six uh, nadia will go into group seven and bell I hope she's here. We'll go into group number eight. All right. So during your own slot groups, this this eight people will go into your own will go into your own respective Discord groups for games. And I think for SG one, it will be charades. All right. So after you finish teaching on Google Meet, um, go into your respective Discord group, and then um, you can conduct your games there. All right. So um, to make sure. To make sure you know what I'm talking about, um, I need you to access this link, which I'll be sending in the chat. Okay, this one is the Discord group link. It's the same link as uh, as last Saturday. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, on Saturday. So I need everyone to enter the link now and enter your own Discord group so that you know which group to go to. And then we can keep track whether you whether you are entering the correct group or not. All right. So I repeat, if you are still unclear, Atira are going to group number one. Group two is Madia. Group three is Shane is uh, Shane Lofna. Group four is Ziziani. Group five is Ami. Group six is Farah. Group seven is Nadia, and group eight is Nad Bell. Okay, good. Akira is inside already. Ami is inside already. The rest? Okay, group four, group six, okay. Uh, five. Nadia, you're in group seven. Okay, good. Good one, good two, good three, good four, good five, good six. Okay, good. All right. So this is um the one that I was referring to. So that this one will be the exact same method as you will do during your slot games, which is uh, which is charades. All right. So um, before we proceed, all right, um, let's all join back Google Meet, all right, so you can leave Discord because this one is just an example to show you guys how to enter your own groups, all right. So you can leave Discord already, come back to Google Meet, and then we will carry on with the test run. Okay, so um, Madea, have you heard from Bell yet? Yeah, I have WhatsApp her, but okay, just not replying. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so um, that was the rough example, all right, of how you guys will be um entering your own Discord group, and um, you also have to be patient, all right, because um, to to do the transition from Google Meet to Discord, from Google Meet to Discord will be very time consuming, also. So this one, you have to be patient um, in terms of waiting for the participants out, all right? To show you what I mean, I'm just going to show you the schedule. Okay, so your slot is SG1, okay? So assuming we are all done with all this already, all right? Now it's SG1. 
the teaching session will be on Google Meet here. All right. After that, it will be games, um, Discord. Then after that, it will be lunch break. So um, your job officially stops here because after SG2, you have, you have, uh, you have nothing to do already. All right. So um, you just have to be patient because the participants have to... Let me just show you a clear image. So you you have to be patient in terms of because from here, the participants will be in Google Meet also, all right? And then during the lesson, will be in Google Meet also. And then you have to wait for a while for all of them to join uh, Discord, all right? From here, um, you may be asking, how will the participants know which group to go to? This one, you don't have to worry because we still have to wait until uh, the registration period is over and then Protocol will have a name list of uh, who will be taking part in our camp, and then we will slot the participants into, um, into their own groups. All right. So here they will know where to go already lah by then. All right. You just have to enter your own, enter your own Discord group and just wait for the participants. All right. Because at the same time, the group leaders will be um, will be also sending them the links to go into their own respective group. So here you don't have to um, uh, worry too much. You just have to go inside and wait and uh, wait for everyone to be present, and then you can just carry on with the games, all right? So that's it from protocol. Um, I shall pass the time to Juno and Eugene for activity to take over, all right? Uh, Eugene and Junhao, you guys can take over already. Uh, basically, you can start with your test run here. Okay, thank you, Selena. Uh, all SG1 leader is in except for Bell, right? So, yes, yes. so can we start? Ma, 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 yeah, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce Mardia or Mardia. Mar Mardia. <laughs> oh, Mardia, okay. okay, sorry. So we can start now. Is there an MC here? Maybe can demonstrate how to muscle. I think MC is not here. I know, right? All right, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, you just assume that I'm I'll be MC too. <laughs> okay. Selena is I know. So after <laughs> So after um I think it was when I'm checked. 11 something. Okay, so after ice breaking session, after ice breaking session, um, we will now enter slot one, which is focusing on survival basic skills and safety. And then I shall pass the time to Madhya and her team. All right, uh, let me share my screen. Uh, anggap we are the participants ah. Okay. Or can you see? Can. Yes. Yeah. Let's start. Okay. Assalamu and hi everyone. So how are you? Very good. Yeah. So are you guys having fun so far? Yes. All right. So welcome to slot group one. So before we start this slot, let me introduce myself and the facilitators. My name is Mardia Bin Mardia, and you can call me Kamar. And the other facilitators are uh, Kat Tira. Can you say hi? Hi. 
Okay, next is Kak Shin. Hello, everyone. And Kak Izeni. Hi. Next is Bang Ami. Hello. Okay, Kak, Kak Farah. Hello. And Kak, Nad- eh, Kak Nadia. Hi. And also Kak Bell. Oh, she's not here. So, um, in this lot, we will be sharing our knowledge about survival basic skills and safety. The basic knowledge before you, before we want to start our expedition. So you may be wondering this question, like what should we know before start before we start our expedition? What should we plan for? What should we bring to our expedition? And if someone get gets hurt during the expedition, so what should we do? So save this question. We will resolve your curiosity later in the sharing session and after this uh, sharing session we have a Q&A session and you guys can feel free to ask me and the other facilitators about today's topic okay okay so after that we okay <laughs> okay after that we will play a game based on our teaching plan which is the charades and the rules will be given later but um, what should you know? Keep in mind that the marks will be given and the group with the highest mark is the winner. So make sure you guys focus to the slide and okay, focus to the slides after this, okay? Okay, so here are the contents of our, our slot. The first one is personal preparedness. Second one is plan. The third one is equipment, and last but not least is the first aid treatment. All right, uh, Tira, you can start. Okay, boleh dengar tak? Boleh, boleh. Okay, before going on uh, expedition, Kita kena ada dua iaitu preemptive action dengan proactive mindset. Apa itu preemptive action? Uh, mula-mula kita kena set some goals. Setkan tujuan kenapa nak join expedition tu. Uh, mungkin untuk menjadikan diri lebih berani atau untuk mencuba sesuatu benda yang baru. Okay, lepas tu adalah uh, get some sleep. Let's find inspiration. Uh, fun inspiration ni macam uh, tengok ayat-ayat motivasi dalam uh, internet atau minta kata-kata semangat dari rakan-rakan sebelum pergi expedition tu. Okay, lepas tu give enough mot- uh, get some sleep to give enough motivation. Uh, tidur yang cukup ni akan bantu badan untuk lebih bersedia untuk hadapi hari hari tersebut. Uh, proactive mindset ni we must have mental stability under pressure. Jangan mudah panik kalau ada apa-apa berlaku, cuba untuk handle dengan baik. Uh, cuba untuk relax lah. Lepas tu adalah hand, handy situation with strength and intelligence. Uh, sebelum SPDT tu, uh, digalakkan untuk membuat uh, exercise untuk lebih cergas. Uh, lepas tu, making good tactical decision. Uh, bila kita mampu untuk bertenang ni, uh, kita akan le- lebih mudah untuk handle sesuatu perkara dengan lebih baik. Okay, next uh, adalah situation awareness. Uh, mula-mula look surrounding. Kita kena lebih peka time expedition tu. Beri perhatian di mana kita berjalan. Jika ada ketua, uh, duduk dekat dengan ketua. Supaya kita tak uh, jauh. Yang kedua adalah stay off mobile devices. Uh, bila kita tumpu pada telefon, uh, kemungkinan kita tidak akan mendengar arahan daripada ketua. Um, berkeminat, berkemungkinan untuk sesat. Uh, lepas tu my phone uh, boleh menyebabkan kita tidak peka situasi. Boleh menyebabkan kecuaian dan mungkin jatuh atau sebaliknya. Yang ketiga adalah orient yourself to surrounding to spot threats. 
uh, berhati-hati dengan ancaman haiwan liar perhatikan tapak kaki haiwan ataupun bunyi yang keempat adalah make advance decision to potential threat prepare untuk hadapi ancaman seperti serangan haiwan liar contohnya bawa wisel apabila diserang di wisel tu untuk dapatkan uh, bantuan yang kelima adalah uh, set threshold for defensive or offensive response kalau pergi dengan kumpulan ikut ketua so akan ada yang orang yang akan bantu jika ada apa-apa yang berlaku tapi jika berseorangan buat suara kuat uh, contoh bau isi tadi lah uh, yang terakhir adalah identify as is project place nearest authority gunakan kompas untuk tahu arah keluar Kodak uh, Place ni macam uh, cari tempat ekspedisi yang dekat dengan perkampungan atau orang ramai. So senang untuk minta tolong. Uh, sebelum ekspedisi tu, kena pasti hospital, balai polis dan balai bomba yang mempunyai yang sediakan uh, 24 jam untuk kecemasan. Ambil nombor telefon mereka jika ada apa-apa yang berlaku so mudah untuk kita uh, contact mereka. Ya, terus ni saya akan sambung untuk bahagian yang kedua iaitu plan. So plan nampak ringkas tetapi sangat penting untuk di 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 apply ke dalam kehidupan seharian. So uh, ada satu quote daripada Rick Riordan iaitu dia cakap always always have a plan. Maksudnya kita kena sentiasa ada plan dalam untuk kita membuat sesuatu perkara. Uh, jadi untuk pergi mengembara ke nak pergi hiking ke nak pergi camping ke apa ke pun kena ada plan juga kena ada plan juga next so untuk plan kita kena tanya diri kita menggunakan uh, satu husband lima wife sebelum kita memulakan ekspedisi kita apa itu satu husband lima wife iaitu uh, kata tanya uh, where, when, why, how and so on so dekat slide ni dia menunjukkan ada beberapa soalan yang boleh digunakan untuk kita tanya kepada diri kita sendiri adakah kita bersedia ataupun tidak menjawab ke, menjawab ke tidak ataupun soalan tersebut terus contoh soalan pertama ialah where is the venue and destination kita kena tahu kat mana part kita nak pergi supaya mudahlah nanti tak ada macam tergesa-gesa ke apa and untuk soalan seterusnya what type of terrain and weather kita kena tahu bahawa uh, bentuk muka bumi dekat tempat tu macam mana kalau terlalu curam saya nasihatkan untuk tidak pergi sebab pernah ada kes dekat bukit di Batu Pahat di mana kawasan tersebut terlalu curam sehingga menyebabkan kematian Okey, yang tu kena ambil kira juga seterusnya <coughs> what is the humidity, temperature and UV level uh, Kat sini kita kena uh, tengok contoh kalau ada orang tu mungkin kulit dia macam terlalu sensitif kepada cahaya matahari ke ataupun tak boleh nak kena tak boleh kena matahari yang terlalu lama mungkin dia kena bersedia dengan krim-krim yang berkaitan dengan uh, penyakit tersebut and then uh, who is or are the participant kita kena tahu siapa participant yang akan uh, join Uh, perkemahan kita ke apa ke supaya uh, apa, apa, kalau ada apa-apa kes yang berlaku kita boleh get ready uh, untuk mencari orang tersebut uh, saya nasihatkan untuk kalau untuk newbie macam kita kita kena pergi berkumpulan tak payah nak pergi seseorang bahaya ok lepas tu when is the trip uh, tu biasalah soalan tu bila bila kita nak pergi pergi waktu cuti ke, pergi uh, waktu yang sesuai lah lepas tu, why are the equipment crucial or necessary uh, kita kena bawa barang yang penting je, tak perlu nak bawa pelbagai, tak perlu nak bawa banyak sangat barang and then uh, berapa lama trip tersebut dan juga uh, macam mana kita nak pergi ke tempat sebut naik kalau beramai mungkin naik bas, kalau pergi lima orang boleh naik kereta ha, macam tu so ni rasa simple je 
So kenapa kita kena uh, plan dulu sebelum pergi ekspedisi uh, ekspedisi ni kat sini ada tiga tiga sebab kenapa kita kena plan dulu. First untuk mendapatkan uh, get a reservation. Um, contoh kalau tempat tu mempunyai tempat yang limited, kita kena tempah dulu kat orang yang menguruskan kawasan tersebut untuk mendapat tempat lah kat situ. And then better and safe expedition spot. Uh, kat sini kita kena uh, kita kena tengok bagaimana kita kena survey dulu keadaan kawasan tersebut macam mana bahaya sangat ke, ada tanah runtuh ke, tak pun terlalu curam dan kadang-kadang tempat yang kita survey dekat internet je mungkin uh, lebih kepada indah khabar daripada rupa sebab tengok gambar macam cantik tetapi kalau kita pergi tempat tu kawasan tu kotor, tak terjaga, bersemak samun semua tu lah and then uh, more time to prepare so kenapa kita kena prepare sebab kita perlukan masa untuk prepare semua barang-barang uh, yang kita bawa, aktiviti apa yang kita nak lakukan dan juga skill apa yang perlu ada ketika ekspedisi tersebut. So harap semua faham. Assalamualaikum. Hai. Semua dengar tak? Waalaikumsalam. Dengar. Semua yeah. okay. semangat lagi tak ni? Semangat Semangat Tidur Tidur, tidur. Siapa nak tidur tu? Eh, tidur. 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 tidur Lagi kita tak habis lagi Tidur lagi <laughs> Okay tak apa jadi seterusnya Akak akan cakap pasal equipment iaitu peralatan-peralatan yang perlu dibawa semasa kembara hutan. Okey kenapa equipment ni penting? Yang pertama bila kita nak masuk hutan kita kena tahu apa yang kita kena bawa. Kalau boleh buat senarai nombor satu apa, nombor dua, nombor tiga dan seterusnya. Okey dan yang kedua Okey, semua tahu kan lepas ni, lepas kita habis sesi pembelajaran kita, kita akan main game. Dan equipment ni akan berkait dengan game lepas ni. Jadi kalau boleh catat, ambil pen, ambil buku, catat apa, nombor satu apa, nombor dua apa, nombor tiga apa. Okey, jadi tanpa meriahkan masa lagi, kita teruskan dengan equipment yang pertama iaitu set of clothes or wamis. Okey, macam uh, my dia ya, uh, saya ada update tau uh, slide ni nanti awak download yang update okay, gambar yang pertama ni ialah baju dan seluar okey contohnya daripada fabric nylon kenapa nylon sebab dia ringan dan cepat kering jadi sesuai untuk dibawa dan gambar yang kedua warna merah tu ialah bandana okey equipment yang kedua ialah foot okey Pertama, ration food iaitu fixed portion. Makanan yang telah ditetapkan bahagian-bahagian untuk makan banyak-banyak mana pada waktu-waktu tertentu. Dan gambar yang kedua, meal ready to eat. MRE. Okay, untuk pengetahuan semua, MRE ni bukan sahaja makanan askar tau. Kita boleh cari dekat pasar raya. Contohnya macam dekat uh, Tesco. Okay, pernah pergi pasar raya lepas tu dia nampak makanan ni. Boleh angkat tangan ataupun tulis dekat chat. Ataupun mungkin kita pernah pergi pasar raya lepas tu kita nampak tapi apa benda tu makanan kucing. Biar je lah makanan kucing kita tak tengok pun. Ha, tapi tu sebenarnya ialah ha, makanan yang kita boleh bawa semasa kita pergi ke kembara hutan. Ataupun option lain yang kita ada ialah kita boleh cari dekat IG shop ataupun online store tulis je travel food akan keluar banyak list dekat bawah tu. Okey yang ketiga ialah bottle. Okey, okey. Siapa tahu kita guna botol ni untuk apa? Isi air. Okey, tak apa. Kita teruskan. <laughs> botol ni. Okey, pandai. Ya, yeah, kita boleh guna botol ni untuk isi air, untuk simpan air. Kegunaan lain dia, kita boleh tapis air. Okey, betul. Air tu kita guna untuk minum. Okey, yang keempat ialah flashlight. Antara flashlight yang direkomenkan adalah LED flashlight macam gambar yang pertama ataupun gambar yang kedua LED headlamp. 
Okey, kenapa LED? Okey, beza flashlight yang menggunakan LED dengan menggunakan mentor biasa, flashlight yang menggunakan LED ni dia menghasilkan cahaya putih yang lebih terang serta penggunaan tenaga dia yang lebih rendah berbanding dengan mentor biasa yang cepat panas dan juga menghasilkan haba. Okey, seterusnya yang kelima ialah multi tools macam adik-adik boleh tengok dalam gambar tu itu ialah Swiss Army Knife S W I S S Swiss Army Knife okay, kita boleh gunakan sebagai pisau untuk siap kulit kayu yang kita boleh guna sebagai fire starter boleh juga guna sebagai screwdriver ataupun pembuka botol keenam ialah lighter or any source of fire. Okey, gambar yang pertama tu yang biasa kita guna ialah lighter. Kenapa kita selalu guna lighter berbanding dengan yang lain? Sebabnya lighter ni dia lightweight, kita senang nak bawa dan juga senang nak guna. Gambar yang kedua tu ialah fire starter. Okey, apa lagi contoh lain yang adik-adik tahu selain daripada dua ni yang kita boleh guna untuk uh, mulakan api? Mancis. Ya betul pandai sangat. Kita juga boleh guna mancis. Boleh juga kalau nak bawa mancis. Okey yang ketujuh ialah portable shelter. Okey macam gambar yang pertama tu ialah hammock nama dia. Ataupun dalam bahasa Melayu kita panggil guayan. Sama ada boleh diperbuat daripada kain, daripada tali ataupun daripada jaring yang kita gantung antara dua point. Okey gambar yang kedua ialah yang warna biru tu ground sheet. Kita boleh guna untuk bentang pun boleh guna juga sebagai bumbung. Dan gambar yang ketiga warna kuning tu ialah sleeping bag. Ah, Okey semua semua okey lagi ke setakat ni ke laju sangat? Okey. Okey. Okay. Jadi boleh, boleh. kalau okey okay. okay lagi kita teruskan dengan yang ke lapan. Okey, yang ke-8 ialah whistle. Jika berlakunya kecemasan, contohnya kita jatuh ataupun kita terseliu, uh, kita tak ada tenaga nak menjerit. Kita tak ada tenaga nak minta tolong, jadi kita boleh gunakan whistle ni untuk tarik perhatian orang lain. Yang seterusnya, yang ke-9 iaitu sterilizer ataupun sanitizer. Dekat mana-mana je kita berada, kita kena jaga kebersihan. Jadi salah satu caranya kita boleh guna sanitizer ataupun sterilizer ni. Okay, yang kesempatan ialah map ataupun GPS. Map ni ada yang pertama map dekat, dekat kertas biasa tu dan yang kedua ialah kita boleh download apps map dekat phone dan, dan kena pastikan uh, map tu boleh guna secara offline sebab kemungkinan dalam hutan tak ada line jadi kalau yang online kita tak boleh nak guna juga kita tak boleh nak guna juga map tu Okey yang ke sebelas ialah utensil Okey macam adik-adik boleh tengok gambar yang pertama yang petak tu ialah mestin nama dia M-E-S-T-I-N kita guna untuk masak makanan dan gambar yang kedua tu ialah sudu, garfu dan juga pisau kita guna untuk makan Okey, peralatan yang ke-12, first aid kit, peti bantuan kecemasan. Okey, ada satu kata-kata ni dia cakap, don't leave home without it. Jangan tinggalkan rumah tanpa first aid kit ni. Betapa pentingnya first aid kit ni kalau kita nak pergi kembara hutan. Uh, at least apa yang perlu ada dalam first aid kit tu, contohnya seperti uh, beds, cotton swab, scissors, steril uh, gas ataupun ubat memadai dengan beberapa tablet Panadol ataupun minyak sapu dan minyak cap kapak. Okay, yang ke-13 ialah flare stick. Okay, flare stick ni dia produce bright light or intense heat without explosion. Kita gunakan biasanya untuk menarik perhatian dan juga illumination, pencahayaan. Okay, yang terakhir sekali nombor 14 tali. Okey dengan menggunakan kaedah ikatan dan simpulan kita boleh guna tali ni untuk banyak benda jika kita berada dalam hutan dan untuk kaedah ikatan dan simpulan ni adik-adik boleh cari je dekat YouTube. Boleh tengok video macam mana nak gunakan kaedah ikatan dan simpulan ni. Okey kegunaan dia adalah terutamanya penting dalam keadaan mendaki ataupun kita guna untuk selamatkan orang yang jatuh, paskan barang pada seberang sungai ataupun kita juga boleh gunakan untuk ikat hammock tadi dan sebagainya. Jadi setakat ni uh, semua dapat tangkap tak? 
apa yang akak cakap ni. Boleh. Jadi, setakat itu sahaja yang akak akan cakap. Okey, bagus. Itu sahaja akak akan cakap pasal equipment dan akak akan paskan kepada orang seterusnya untuk present berkenaan dengan uh, untuk presentation seterusnya iaitu Kak Farah. Silakan Farah. Okey, untuk first aid treatment, uh, sebentar ya Farah buka uh, satu slide. Present. Eh, auto. Alright. Untuk first aid treatment, sekejap uh, boleh ke kalau Farah sendiri yang uh, sharekan supaya lebih senang untuk tekan mana-mana? Boleh. Alright. Thank you for a good share. So, yeah. Boleh nampak ke screen Farah? Boleh. Alright. Boleh. Farah can start sekarang. Alright. Uh, okay, sebelum tu uh, Semua okay lagi ke ni? Tadi dari tadi dengar saja Okay lagi Alright uh, Far punya subtopik ada enam tau Banyak tau So uh, Far akan cover uh, Far perincikan enam subtopik kecil Untuk first aid treatment uh, Far punya slot ni Iaitu first open wound Second, bone uh, dislocated or fracture or break. Uh, third, immobilized patient. Yang keempat, heat exhaustion. Yang kelima, hypothermia. Yang keenam, B or web sting. Jangan risau uh, dengan angka enam banyak kan? Uh, sebab Farah punya slot akan banyak video. Sebelum tu, okay yang pertama, open wound. Sebelum Farah mainkan video, Uh, Farah akan maklumkan dulu bahawa tayangan Farah mungkin akan stop di pertengahan pertengahan, pertengahan jalan uh, untuk membuat penerangan tambahan atau mungkin jika adik-adik ada soalan ke boleh unmutekan mic dan uh, feel free to ask. Uh, saya dan rakan-rakan PC akan uh, membantulah untuk menjawab persoalan tu. Sebab kita pun nak uh, si, si yang terakhir ni uh, saya benarkan untuk tanya di pertengahan saya present pun uh, boleh. Dapat tak? Clear tak apa yang saya kata? Clear ke? Okay sebab yeah. tak ada. <laughs> okay. Uh, tadi tu saya assume dapat Farah akan mulakan uh, first video sekarang. Knowing how to properly treat minor wounds and burns in the field will allow you to hike out safely without having any lasting effects. For abrasions, scrub the wound with soap and a clean gauze pad to remove any dirt from the wound. Then rinse off the soap, cover a gauze pad with antibiotic ointment, and tape it in place to keep the wound clean. The same procedure should be used for minor cuts. If the cut's bleeding a lot, Use a clean gauze pad to apply pressure to the area for about 10 minutes, which should help stop the bleeding. Use butterfly bandages to close any large cuts and cover the wound with a gauze pad to keep it clean until you can get out to medical attention. For small burns, immediately put the limb in cold water or cover it with a water-soaked bandana. Keep it cool until the pain is reduced, then cover it with a gauze pad. Don't pop any blisters if they form. Instead, try to keep blisters from popping for as long as possible because the skin under the blister is raw and healing. For second and third degree burns that cover a large surface area, don't immerse the burn site in water because that can cause shock. Cover a large, serious burn with a cool, moist bandage and lift it above heart level if possible. Then get the victim out to medical help. If clothing is ever burned along with the skin, don't pull it off because that can pull the skin off too. If the burn site is small enough, you may be able to pull off the burn clothing after the wound is cooled. With a heavy bleeding wound, the most important concern is to stop the bleeding and get the victim out to help as soon as possible. If you can, wash your hands and wear vinyl gloves to reduce the chances of infection when dealing with a heavy bleeding wound. Cover the victim to prevent them from losing body heat 
and lift the legs slightly along with the wound site. Remove any dirt and debris from the wound, but don't remove any large or deeply embedded objects. Apply pressure directly to the wound site to stop the bleeding. Use sterile bandages or clean clothes. Hold pressure on there for about 20 minutes without lifting up to see if the bleeding is stopped. Don't remove the gauze or bandages. If the bandages get soaked through with blood, add more absorbent bandages on top and continue to put pressure on the wound. If you're still having trouble stopping the bleeding, locate the nearest artery and place pressure on it with your fingers. With your other hand, keep the pressure on the wound. Pressure points for your arm are just above the elbow and just below the inside of your armpit. In your leg, the pressure points are in the groin and just behind the knee. Immobilize the victim's injured body part once the bleeding has stopped, keeping the bandages in place, and get them out to medical help. All right, untuk uh, summarizekan video pertama kita tadi, basic treatment untuk minor injury, minor open wound. Uh, first, uh, bersihkan uh, luka tersebut dengan air yang bersih ataupun alkohol. Kalau macam tak berani macam luka, luka dia pedih, rasa pedih tu guna uh, air bersih sudah memadai. Yang kedua, uh, tutup luka dengan plaster atau bandage atau kain yang bersih tapi jangan terlalu ketat kerana akan menyebabkan tekanan dan mungkin akan meng, meng, uh, men, merosakkan lagi, merosakkan, <laughs> me, menerukkan lagi keadaan. Okay, uh, kita boleh burn the wound uh, untuk stop the bleeding if necessary. Uh, the last uh, result, kalau darah, pendarahan uh, masih berlaku, boleh apply turn liquid. Turn liquid ni, uh, even uh, at first saya, de saya dengar pun saya tak familiar, so mari kita tengok apa itu ni. Apply turn liquid ni. Okay, this is, saya buka here. Alright. Dapat dengar ke uh, suara dari video ni? Dapat. Alright. Dapat. The first step is to identify the wound and loop the tourniquet around the limb one to three inches above the wound. Importantly, this ni eh, yang kita panggil tourniquet ni. The second step is to ensure that the tourniquet is looped through the buckle twice. The third step is to pre-tension the tourniquet. This is done by vigorously pulling on the free end of the tourniquet and tightening it such that a finger cannot be interposed between the tourniquet and the patient's skin. The fourth step is to twist the windlass up to three times or until there is a sufficient of bleeding. The fifth step is to inspect the wound to ensure there's no ongoing bleeding and to palpate for a distal pulse, which should be absent. The sixth step is to achieve in the faces. Inspect the wound. If there's ongoing bleeding, ensure there are three twists in the first tourniquet and apply a second immediately adjacent to and above the first. Once the tourniquet is in place, it should be left up and tight until evaluated by a surgeon at a hospital. Tourniquets can save lives on the battlefield and in the homeland. This instructional video provides the basic necessary information to properly apply a tourniquet for a massively bleeding wound. In my experience, a properly applied tourniquet can save lives. This is a skill set that anybody can master, just like the Heimlich maneuver or CPR. Alright, dapat tak api tu uh, tourniquet tadi? So far dia soalan sebelum saya pergi ke subtopik yang kedua. Tak dengar video tadi akak. Yang ke mana yang video pertama, kedua? Video kedua. Akak boleh jelaskan ke? Video kedua. Apa dia? Okay, apply tourniquet ni. Uh, yang tadi nampak kan yang dia punya alat tu? Nampak. nampak. Okay. Tourniquet tu benda yang dia tunjukkan itu uh, benda tu tersebut. Uh, benda tu boleh didapati pada first aid kit yang level higher yang kita akan bawa ke uh, expedition untuk basic expedition ni biasanya tak tak tak, tak ada pun uh, tourniquet ni tapi uh, jika untuk 
ilmu tambahan kalau ada terbawa ke ada memang uh, memang nak memang jaga keselamatan memang bawa tenikit ni ah uh, begitulah cara dia nak nak apply dia basically dia macam satu satu orang kata apa satu tali satu satu tali yang dipasang dengan alat untuk lebih senang untuk kita stopkan bleeding macam saya cari tadi dalam berapa second je kan nampak kan tadi Jelas ke? Nampak. Jelas, jelas. Tak apa, uh, video tak dengar ke nanti last sekali saya akan ada paparkan uh, playlist untuk adik-adik boleh tengok uh, balik semula untuk play speed sendiri sebab sekarang kita mengejar masa nanti kerang ada banyak lagi ilmu untuk uh, saya ajar dan banyak lagi video untuk ditunjukkan dan nak main game lagi, nak main ke tak? Nah. Nak kan? Alright, so uh, tak ada soalan ya, saya ke subtopik kedua iaitu point Ada soalan kat chat Ada soalan? Ada. Oh, ikut. Sekejap, eh. Macam, macam mana nak? Sabar. Alright. Type box. Chat box. Where is, where is it? Chat box. Kalau orang tu pakai suara panjang boleh juga dengan seluar ke? Uh, ini refer untuk tunikat tadi ya? Uh, adik Eng Yi Jin Ini refer kepada uh, tunikat tadi ke? Okay Kak Farah Okay? Itu dia buat okay? Okay <laughs> what, what okay? Okay refer tu apa? Tunikat Oh, soalan ni refer to tunikat. Hmm. Oh, okay. Kalau seluar panjang, balut seluar juga ke? Uh, tengok luka tu di mana? Kalau di peha, di uh, tu kita uh, kena bersihkan area situ, area luka tu supaya biasanya kalau luka di, contohlah luka di peha, seluar panjang kan? Mesti akan terkoyak di bahagian seluar peha tu. Macam mana? Oh. Uh, kan? uh, so, apply dekat situ je area yang terbuka tu. Sebab yang tunikat ni untuk heavy, heavy pendarahan. Okay, faham. Alright. Uh, okay. Kita next. Next ni okay. Kita move on to next. Mana, 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 mana. Alright. For second subtopic, point dislocated or fracture or break. Another video. Enjoy. For sprains in the backcountry, the RICE method still applies and is very effective. Rest, ice, compression, elevation. Rest the sprain limb and then ice it with snow or cold water. Ice it for 20 minutes on and then 20 minutes off. Compress the wound with an elastic bandage and elevate it to keep the swelling down. After a few icing cycles, you'll probably be okay to walk out. Use anti-inflammatory medications like naproxen sodium and ibuprofen to reduce the swelling and ease the pain. You can also use a makeshift crutch to help you walk out and keep weight off the limb. A break can sometimes be hard to diagnose. If the injury is painful, swollen, and can't be used, then treat it like a break and splint. The best way to treat a break in the backcountry is to immobilize it with a splint so it doesn't move around and do more damage. Then get the victim on for medical help. To make a splint, improvise by using materials from your backpack and your surroundings. Sleeping pads, trekking poles, sticks, and extra clothing can all be used to make effective splints. In most cases, it's best to leave the fracture limb in the position you found it. But if you're out in the backcountry and you're many hours or days away from help, you may have to reset the limb before you can transport the victim. First, stop any bleeding present. If the break is protruding, you'll need to push the limb back into place to stop bleeding and prevent infection. Once the limb is in the anatomically correct position, it'll cause less pain and do less damage. Then you can focus on splinting the limb and getting the victim out to help. All right, okay ke? Okay, masih okay lagi ke? Ada patah hati ke? Okay, tadi respon. Masih okay. Masih okay, okay. Uh, okay, uh, basically uh, video tadi 
uh, apa yang perlu kita buat kalau uh, ter- ter- tercedera seperti tadi uh, seperti yang ditunjukkan tadi first check the injury uh, level uh, do not attempt uh, kalau buka, unless a medical pro so biarkan je just uh, immobilize Uh, kawasan yang terjera like tangan tadi kan so provide support to broken limb or joint to make it rest so uh, saya so summarizekan video tadi dengan another, another video Hi, my name is Marcelo and I'm a lifeguard in Kuta Beach, Bali In my line of work, first aid can be the difference between life and death but you don't have to be a professional to save a life so if you find yourself in an emergency situation follow these safe steps In the case of broken bone, call the emergency services and don't move the person unless absolutely necessary Keep the injured area still and support it Don't try to manipulate or realign the bone To alleviate pain and swelling, apply ice, wrapping the cloth without moving the affected area. Don't place the ice directly on the skin. Keep the victim calm and in a comfortable position until help arrives. If you find yourself in the right place at the right time, be prepared to save life and follow these safe steps. For more life-saving advice, visit safesteps.com. Clear ke? Ada apa-apa soalan untuk subtopik kedua? Ada di chat, chat box ke soalan? Saya perlu kan? Ya. Oh, saya, ah, okay. Tanya. Silakan. Tak, saya cakap clear. Oh, clear. Saya dengar nah, saya. Clear. Okay. Kita sambung next subtopik. Immobilize patient with another video. Saya ke video tadi, ke laju sangat Kalau saya laju tu tak dapat, dapat kecap apa pun Clear ke? Adik-adik ada lagi kita tu? Clear Clear? Okay, yeah. siapa, siapa, siapa yang bercakap? Adik Amir eh, tadi Siapa cakap clear tadi? Adik Amir cuba bagi tahu apa satu je tadi Satu, satu ada tahu. Yang tiga orang punya tu. Alright. Lagi? Uh, siapa lagi kata clear tadi? Okay. Actually uh, sebabkan uh, saya rasa video tadi ag- uh, agak laju. Saya prepare another uh, animation video. Wait there. Alright. Uh, before that can... Dengar tak suara? Dengar tak suara video ni? Dengar tapi slow. Slow ya. Baik ya. The cradle. Okay, dengar tak? The cradle Dengar. Carries right. your dengar. Has little or no strength. It's performed by placing one arm under the victim's legs and the other around their back. Piggyback. The piggyback carry is used when a victim is responsive and not expected to lose consciousness. Piggyback carry by having the victim hold around your shoulders while you support their weight with your arms placed under their thighs. Fireman carry. To fireman carry, lift the victim so that their torso is supported by your shoulders. 
Hold the victim by grabbing onto their thigh with one hand and their arm with the other. Pack strap carry. The pack strap carry is used when the victim is unconscious and cannot be safely dragged. Balance the weight of the victim on your hips and support them with your legs. Human crutch. Use the human crutch when the victim can walk with assistance. Help the victim stay balanced. Try to minimize the amount of weight that must go on an injured leg. Double human crutch. Use the double human crutch when you have a helper and the victim can walk with assistance. Help the victim stay balanced. Try to minimize the amount of weight that must go on an injured leg. Two-handed seat. Use the two-handed seat when you have a helper and the victim is conscious and can cooperate. While facing each other, you and your helper should grasp one another's wrists with the hands that will be in front. Your other arm should grasp your helper's shoulders and their arm should grasp yours, forming a hammock-like seat for the injured person. Two-person front back. Use the two-person front back carry when space does not permit the two-handed seat or the victim must be carried downstairs. Communicate with your helper when lifting the victim and lift at the same time. All right. We don't need a bit clear, okay? A bit clear, guys. Okay? A bit clear. All right. Uh, move on to the next topic. Or are you going to move on to the next topic? Or are you going to move on to the next topic? Or are you going to move on to the next topic? Okay, ni. Hello, adik-adik. Adik ya? Adik. Okay. Alright. Uh, heat exhaustion. Another video. Heat exhaustion is a condition that happens in hot climates when a person's body is unable to cool itself. Heat exhaustion can happen when temperatures and humidity levels are high and your body's working hard. Dehydration can make matters a lot worse, but you might experience heat exhaustion even if you are drinking water. Heat exhaustion is not life-threatening, but if it goes untreated, it can lead to heat stroke, which can damage the brain and lead to death. Symptoms of heat exhaustion include profuse sweating, pale skin, weakness, nausea, vomiting, headaches, and muscle cramps. To treat heat exhaustion, get the victim to a cool, shady location and let them rest. Lay them down and elevate their legs slightly. Give the victim sips of cool water or an electrolyte solution and help them to cool down with a wet bandana on their forehead. If a victim is experiencing heat stroke, their skin will often be red, hot to the touch, and dry. Other symptoms of heat stroke include nausea, vomiting, rapid breathing and heartbeat, throbbing headaches, confusion, and unconsciousness. When a victim is experiencing heat stroke, their body needs to be cooled immediately and they need to get to medical attention as soon as possible. Get them to a shady area, remove their clothing, and actively try to cool their body with cold water and wet clothes. Focus on their head, neck, armpits, and groin. If possible, have the victim drink sips of cool water or an electrolyte solution and get them out to medical help as soon as you can. All right. Uh, overall, uh, basic symptom for uh, heat exhaustion is uh, oversweating, pale skin and face, headache or dizziness, uh, nausea uh, or vomiting, uh, elevated heart rate and respiratory rate. So, apa yang perlu kita buat uh, bagi mangsa heat exhaustion ni, uh, air tapi jangan sesekali bagi alcohol and caffeine. Why? Sebab dia akan uh, trigger kita punya rate untuk uh, meningkatkan lagi kadar pernafasan dan kadar rate kita lagi laju, lagi tinggi. And uh, seperti dalam video cakap, uh, pindahkan mangsa kepada shady place and limit sun exposure. So, summarize video tadi with another video here. Heat exhaustion is caused by loss of salt and water from the body usually through excessive sweating. It develops slowly and usually happens to people who aren't used to hot, humid weather. A dangerous and common cause of heat exhaustion is when the body produces more heat than it can cope with. 
This can happen when someone takes non-prescription drugs like ecstasy, which can stop the body from regulating its temperature properly. There are six key things that may lead you to suspect someone has heat exhaustion. A headache, dizziness and confusion, a loss of appetite and feeling sick, sweating with pale, clammy skin, cramps in the arms, legs and stomach, and fast, weakening pulse and breathing. If you think someone is suffering from heat exhaustion, help the person to a cool place and get them to lie down with their legs raised. Give them lots of water to drink, and you can also give them an isotonic drink to help replace the salt in the fluid that they have lost through sweating. Keep checking their level of response. If their condition seems to be getting worse, place them into the recovery position and call 999 or 112 for emergency help. All right, so far clear. Uh, Adik-adik mungkin malu nak expose uh, diri, uh, tanya direct. Adik-adik boleh WhatsApp uh, mereka di group masing eh. Uh, boleh WhatsApp, uh, boleh PM face masing-masing uh, untuk tanya sikit-sikit uh, nanti mereka boleh tanya uh, face kami, face slot, slot ini. Okay? Akak, so far clear? Akak saya ada soalan. Ya yes, saya? Saya, saya perempuan uh, lah. Boleh, boleh. Nanti Silakan. Nanti saya kena uh, tanggal semua baju ke kalau saya kena uh, heat exhaustion. Heat exhaustion. Okay, biasanya uh, kita akan ada kemah bukan? Um, uh, jika biasanya kalau expedition uh, berkumpulan, uh, biarkan yang perempuan, rawat perempuan. Uh, yang Uh, para lelaki akan guide apa yang perempuan ni perlu buat. Contoh uh, kalau in my personal uh, advice uh, kalau contoh adik siapa? Eng, eh adik siapa yang bertanya ni? Adik Esther. Alright, adik Esther <laughs> kena <laughs> contoh adik Esther, contoh adik Esther uh, kena heat exhaustion dan saya dalam expedition, saya saya juga perempuan kan. Uh, saya akan pindahkan adik Esther ke dalam kema dan Uh, saya akan uh, buka lah apa yang perlu buka dan saya akan sejukkan uh, seperti yang ditunjukkan dalam video tadi. Uh, di dalam kemah saya tak akan bedakan mana-mana lelaki dekat dengan kemah tersebut. So privacy perempuan sama perempuan terjaga. So far okay? Kalau kalau sedang daki gunung okay. macam mana tak ada kemah. Okay, kalau macam tu, hanya buka uh, yang mana boleh buka je untuk macam kalau baju yang berlapis-lapis, kita akan uh, tapis, I mean, uh, hanya buka button-button or uh, buka kasut, buka stocking, uh, lembabkan dia punya pakaian dari luar supaya dia rasa sejuk. So, mungkin uh, jika dia uh, mengalami heat distortion, dia, uh, dia akan Uh, mengalami apa kita panggil term tu uh, pertukaran suhu bukan apa 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 uh, dia akan meng me mengambil haba daripada kan tadi kan kita lembabkan pakaian dari luar bukan uh, so dia akan ambil tukar suhu dengan kain lembab tersebut lah saya lupa term tu nanti saya akan cari Okay, okay. Alright. Thank you, Akak. Alright. <laughs> Ada lagi soalan? Tak ada, Akak. Alright. Okay, kita akan move on. Kelima. Kelima is hypothermia. Iaitu body temperature far beyond 35 Celsius. Okay, symptom, symptom. Uh, hypothermia, uh, shivering, confusion and sluggish thinking or talk, uh, mm. unusual behavior, slow and shallow respiratory rate and weak pulse. Okay, 
uh, video ni akan lebih menerangkan lagi apa yang hypothermia happens when a person's core body temperature falls below normal levels, which can happen when a person is exposed to cold temperatures, wind, and wetness. Hypothermia is one of the most dangerous emergency conditions that can happen in the outdoors, and one of the main causes of death to backcountry travelers. For that reason, it's incredibly important to take the signs of hypothermia very seriously and to treat it quickly. Improper nutrition can all lead to increased chances of hypothermia. The first sign of hypothermia is shivering, which is a symptom of the body trying to warm itself. Shivering might start mildly, then become more aggressive, and eventually it'll stop altogether. Another sign of hypothermia is referred to as having the umbles, meaning the mumbles, stumbles, fumbles, and grumbles. Hypothermia victims may slur their speech, become confused, lose their coordination, and will eventually become apathetic and irrational. To treat hypothermia, get the victim out of the elements, get them dry, and warm their core body temperature as soon as possible. Get the victim into their shelter and replace their wet base layers with dry clothing. If the victim is conscious, feed them caloric drinks and food to boost their metabolism and have them exercise in short bursts to generate heat, but make sure they avoid all alcohol and caffeine. If the victim is unconscious, be very careful when moving them because their heart will be sensitive and don't try to feed them food or drinks because they might choke. Put them in a sleeping bag on top of a pad to insulate them from the cold ground and if possible, wrap them in a tarp or plastic sheet to increase the insulation of the bag. Sharing body heat with skin-to-skin -skin contact can be a good way to warm up a hypothermic victim as well. Warm up a hypothermia victim's core first, not their hands and feet, because that will circulate cold blood back to their core. Clear ke penjelasan body kita tadi? akan soalan lagi. Okay. Bagus ada SD. <laughs> Aku nak bagi masa tambahan. Okey. Okey. Saya saya. Okey, uh, kalau saya tadi heat exhaustion. So kain saya sudah lembab. Then tiba-tiba saya hypothermia. Oh, okey, hypothermia. <laughs> hypothermia uh, tadi siang ada SD dah heat exhaustion. Malam dia akan hypothermia pula ya. Uh, <laughs> Ni situasi dia sebab awak perempuan kan? Uh, okay. Uh, adik adik agak adik punya hypothermia sebab kawasan sejuk atau adik terjatuh sungai ke apa? Awak nak awak nak situasi yang mana? Uh, kawasan sejuk. Okay. Kalau kawasan sejuk uh, masuk ke dalam kemah jangan direct uh, apa duduk di atas tanah sebab itu lagi sejuk. Masuk dalam kemah dan Uh, bungkus bungkus ah uh, balik diri awak bungkus diri awak berlapis-lapis seperti yang tunjukkan uh, macam video tadi kalau masih tidak berkesan a uh, shorten skin to skin uh, pindahkan haba uh, ambil dua ke tiga rakan-rakan anda peluk beramai-ramai so uh, akan meningkatkan haba sesama sendiri faham tak Faham, faham. Alright. Kalau ah uh, kalau saya advisekan macam itulah. Namun jika uh, situation lebih uh, menjadi lebih teruk, kan tadi kan uh, sebelum kita expedition kita dah spot mana hospital, mana tempat kita nak pergi, ah uh, saya akan syorkan awak keluar daripada kawasan ni dan ambilkan uh, rawatan selanjutnya lah. Jika masih tidak berkesan seperti bungkus tadi ah uh, dengan bantuan rakan-rakan pun tak tak boleh lagi so rawatan lanjut uh, akan dijalankan. Boleh ke adik Esther? Kesian awak ni uh, tadi heat exhaustion ni hypothermia pula. Oh, boleh boleh. Boleh boleh. Adik-adik yang lain okey ke dapat ke imagine kita tengah expedition ni? Apa tu? Alright. Uh, okay, saya akan next lagi. Okay? Kita pun macam mengejar masa untuk game. Okay, last topic be or what sting. Untuk kali ni punya video, maaflah tiada reality punya ni. 
Hanya basic. There's a few right. simple steps to follow. First, wash your hands with mild soap and water. <coughs> then, wash the affected area with either mild soap and water or antiseptic foam. Disinfect the tweezers with rubbing alcohol and remove the stinger with the tweezers or by gently scraping with your fingernail. For multiple stings, soak the area in a cool bath with one tablespoon of baking soda per quart of water. Lastly, dispense some Benadryl itch-stopping cream onto a Johnson & Johnson first aid gauze pad and then apply it to the area. And cover with a Band-Aid brand adhesive bandage. Okay, about video, video saja saja sini. Okay, sampai di situ saja. Uh, ada apa-apa soalan? Apa yang perlu kita buat kalau uh, kena sengatan lebah uh, atau tepuan atau tu sengatan serangga? Yang pertama, ni ni hanyalah untuk basic and minor look, minor sengatan, minor minor look, minor, minor injury. Uh, first, basically wash the sting uh, with the clean water. Uh, second, pull out the sting and third, apply cold to the sting area. Boleh ke? Boleh. Alright. Okay, nampak tak QR code ni semua sama salam ni? Uh, Tadi video tadi mungkin ada kekurangan dari pihak saya Nampak. sendiri. Uh, Adik-adik boleh scan QR code ni. Uh, saya sebenarnya dah buat uh, playlist uh, semua video-video yang saya tayangkan tadi. So maybe uh, kalau Adik tak puas hati, Adik boleh rewatch again with the, with the, with your own play speed, uh, with your own uh, preference. So uh, cuba Adik try scan sekarang. Boleh tak? Dapat tak? Dapat tak ke playlist tersebut? Sekejap ayah kak. Alright. Sementara scan tu ada apa-apa soalan? Sebelum kita berganjak kepada slot game. Sambil-sambil scan tengah loading boleh nampak video tadi alright uh, adik-adik boleh add on uh, youtube library masing-masing dan bolehlah tengok kalau-kalau rindu rindu uh, kalau kalau nak recall balik ke okey ada apa-apa soalan Farah stop. Farah stop. Share screen kan? Dah ada. Sempat ke tadi scan? Tak sempat. Sempat. Oh adik Esther tak sempat. <laughs> tak apa nanti saya saya suruh Faisi awak uh, bagi dekat link group. Ada group 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 WhatsApp kan? Group I, untuk kumpulan awak. Okay awak kumpulan apa Esther? Empat. <laughs> ah, okay, bagus. Nanti saya suruh akan bersi awak bagi. Pastikan scan ya Esther. Nanti sekarang awak nak pergi expedition. Ada heat exhaustion lah, hypothermia lah. <laughs> awak kena bawa pet tebal-tebal. <laughs> okay. Alright. Seterusnya saya serahkan kepada yang yang bertanggungjawab untuk session game. Thank you. Alright, jadi kita dah dengar semua sharing session from our facilitators. So it's time for charades. Yeah.
All right. So before we start, let me explain to you the rules of charades. So lepas ni, semua akan dipecahkan dalam group dalam Discord, breakout rooms dalam Discord. Semua dah ada group masing-masing kan? Alright, jadi kita akan main daripada tiga kategori iaitu equipment, symptoms of hypothermia and symptoms of heat exhaustion. Dan dalam setiap group, sebelum kita mulakan game itu, dalam setiap group kita pilih dulu tiga orang. Salah seorang akan untuk equipment, second symptoms of hypothermia and third akan add for symptoms of heat exhaustion. Jadi untuk perkataan dalam setiap kategori, host iaitu pesi kami akan bagi words tu dalam private chat orang yang melakonkan itu. Okay. Jadi siapa yang dapat perkataan tu mesti act out the word dan boleh cakap boleh cakap tapi tak state the as a word. Alright. Jadi satu uh, peserta akan diberi masa 5 minit untuk satu kategori dan peserta yang lain mesti meneka perkataan tersebut boleh unmute dan teka. Okay, um, kumpulan yang paling cepat dan yang dapat teka lagi banyak perkataan akan diberi markah dan uh, dia adalah winner lah. Alright. So we will move to Discord. Should we move to Discord? No? Yeah, yeah, it's in the mm. place. Kakak tetap boleh masuklah Discord. Tak boleh? Oh, dia tak bagi saya masuk.
I think for the meantime, uh, we masuk group number one, and then we try to play once. Then siapa yang group leader number uh, Discord group number one uh, akan lead. Just ingat uh, hari betul betul jangan masuk group number one. Nah, kalau kamu bukan group number one. Maybe satu group leader tu uh, buat satu soalan. Hmm, faham tak Aisyah? Ah, uh, faham, faham. Hmm. Kita try kat group one. Then, then masuk group two ah. Ah, uh, uh, no need. Ah, uh, kita just masuk group one and then ah uh, uh, take turn lah. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, at the actual program baru ah uh, buat dekat setiap group masing-masing. Okay. Uh, siapa akan lakon sekarang? Dia pelakon selama 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 lapan grup tu lah. Selina <laughs> lakon. Huh? <laughs> no, because the uh, uh. group leader untuk eh sorry, sesi untuk grup pertama adalah Atira. So Atira, you nak try uh, main share start dengan dengan kita semua. Ah uh, boleh. Kita pergi dekat Discord. Kita main kat Discord. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. So, so everyone masuk group satu. Uh, then Atira boleh boleh demo lah. Okay. At- Atira yang lakon ke atau dia kena cari participants untuk lakon? Uh, saya cari, cari participants. participants. So, no. s- sekarang, uh, okay. Atira. Sekarang kamu ada beberapa orang untuk choose lah. Anggap kita participants, jangan ambil yang SG1 punya orang. Ada siapa? Selina. Esther. Eh, suka <laughs> sangat. <laughs> Boleh lah. Let's go. Let's go group number one. Okay, boleh dengar? So how how they going to give the thing uh, the word to to the participants? Yes, So um, how do you guys start the game? Ah, huh? you guys will send the send the words to the participants first, right? Right, Maria. I think maybe they can start like uh restating just now's rules because I think many people won't really listen. Ah, maybe lah, maybe just maybe. So maybe short saying in own words how to play again and then yes. Ask for volunteer. If no one wants to volunteer, then you just choose someone. Lah. Can go maxa, go maxa. So how are you going to PM the peserta? Okay, so once everyone is in Discord already, all right, just just roughly go through the the rules again, all right, for charades, and then um each leader for each Discord group will later host the game because right now, um right now everyone is in the main group first, all right. Then uh one person can demonstrate to everyone how the game is being played, and then during the actual actual test run or the actual camp day, you guys will go into your own respective uh, Discord group. So now is the best time for everyone to be sure of how to actually run the game. Right? So right now, um, you are supposed to start the game by by, uh, what was that? 
uh, you are supposed to give a keyword to the to the to the participants. Is it? Choose a keyword to the selected participant. But I don't know where Atira when he did she didn't answer. It's okay, it's okay. Um uh Malia, you want to try to lead the session first? Yeah, but my discord. Can't hear you. My dear, no sound. Line problem. Matthew, I got line problem. My discord keeps lagging too. Okay, uh, Karana, try that. Because at the end of the day, each of you will just take turns to hold first so that you guys will know how to actually do it on the day itself. Right now, right now, can can someone just please try? Me, Bully, or me? I think a lot got internet problem. Maybe it's already night, so that's why. A lot of people having the same problem as well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is Farah here? What? Can okay, Farah try? Farah lagging also. Madi also lagging. Shin? Madi also lagging. Shin, Shin also lagging. <laughs> Hiya! Amir! Everyone lagging. You know, uh, the people uh, who are not in charge uh, don't lag like one. <laughs> you see, Iji no lag, like, uh, Farhana no lag, like, uh, Alia no lag, like, you no lag, like, I no lag. Like. <laughs> then the others like hiya. I think I think Atira <laughs> has tried it last time I entered a group, she did well. Lah. Yes, I'm in the same group with you, Esther. Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so right now, right now, for those who can listen, for those who can listen, you have to be sure of how to conduct the games, all right? So before you start the session, make sure you go through the rules again because um, it's better if the participants are aware of the rules also. So you just go through the rules again and then you start the game, all right? So um yeah so anyone want, anyone wants to try first we can just play one round after that we can uh, we can just end already Shane you want to try Na try ta Try la try la No can you hear me uh? I'm I'm I taku they don't like they can't hear. I rasa kan sebab um dia masuk Google Meet and Discord so dia orang macam oh, lagi. Okay 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 faham. Ah uh, maybe. Ah uh, okay never mind. Since since everyone will be in the main group, alright. Everyone leave Discord, go back to Google Meet. We will conduct the session there. Okay. Everyone go back to Google Meet. Okay. Alright. Close Discord so that you can save your save your data. Alright. Bye bye. Hiya, memang set. <laughs> Takedi is in the very afternoon. Scared, eh. Very scared, eh. Very scared. I if, also very scared, eh. Just now, everyone happened on the lag. Yeah, lah. Yeah. Oh, my God. 
They lost or what now? <laughs> Never mind, we'll, Guys! We'll, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out if uh if everyone is clear on that day. So, some more around, please. Buka camera, if boleh. Guys, please, come back. Oh my god, so dash <laughs> shut. Uh. Okay, come back, come back, come back. Ne- <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh my actually, hari tu Sekarang dah try juga Basically, And the same problem Oh, lagging juga eh Apa tu? Oh, like... oh the same problem I have... hmm. <laughs> Sekarang okay <laughs> Okay uh... Okay, so everyone's back ready So let's try one round for the games Okay So um, Who wants to start first? Group 1 Who's the first group? Group 1 Tuan Nurul Atira, right? Atira Yeah, Atira Atira Yeah Nak yeah, try dulu yeah. ke? Uh, boleh, boleh hmm. So, okay. saya pilih tiga orang lah kan? According to you, yeah, for three different uh oh. subject, a eh, topics ah, uh. uh. but now for now for now you just choose one lah. Uh. Okay, uh, untuk equipment, uh, saya pilih <coughs> um Alia, boleh, ah uh, boleh boleh. But on that day, remember, ask them if they want to volunteer or not. Nah. If they don't want, only you choose. Ah. Who is the one to volunteer? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, my God. Uh, lepas tu, perkataan tu nak sign kat mana? Hmm. <laughs> sign kat mana? Uh, okay. Uh, you can try this. You can try this, ah. Huh? Okay. Uh... Everyone except for Alia and Esther, close their eyes. <coughs> Kemudian Atira boleh share perkataan tu kepada Esther dengan Alia. Okay, so the rest of us close our eyes to look at the screen. Then Atira cepat bagi tahu Esther dengan Alia perkataan tersebut. Kemudian boleh start. Okay, everyone close your eyes. Nombor satu. Nampak nombor berapa? <laughs> Banyak sangat. Banyak sangat. Oh my God. Yang ni eh untuk uh, equipment. Uh-huh. Ha? Satu, dua, tiga. Sampai sini. Oh uh, my God. Sekian se- ingat semua tu ke? Ha ha. Uh, uh, ikut uh, masa yang sempat lah. Sorry, sorry, annoying brother. <laughs> Saya tak nampak. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Boleh ambil lima ke dulu? Hmm. Okay. Dah. Mesti dah. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. They like the red and you open your eyes. (laughs) 
Nadia, berapa mini? Lima. Lima minit satu ketiga. Alia start dulu lah. Okay, boleh start. Sekarang. Alia start dulu. Uh, pilih nombor berapa je pun eh? Uh, ah, boleh. Hmm, okay, sekejap ni. Ah, Esther start lah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, ini, ini benda yang kamu guna bila Uh, kamu nak tidur So down by the moment Sleeping bag Yeah sleeping bag Okay we got one right <laughs> <laughs> My god so dry <laughs> Okay okay Alia one continue ah. Okay seterusnya alatan yang penting Kalau kita masuk hutan Untuk ikat-ikat something ataupun Uh, ubat tu kita nak uh, daki-daki ke uh, untuk ikat santai yes rock tadi rock yes rock. the the thing your mom use ah uh, when she cut the meat <laughs> that thing chopping board knife <laughs> what chopping board <laughs> what are the chopping board <laughs> Ya, yeah, yang ni. What's this? You use it to drink water. Water bottle. <laughs> I like ah. Uh. Yeah, still lagging ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Water bottle. I uh, always like. Okay. Uh, next, um, sumber api. So, pas senang kalau kita masuk hutan untuk hidupkan api. Lighter. Yes. <laughs> What is this? The answer is... <laughs> The thing that you use, ah, uh, you you pit it, pit it. Eh. <laughs> Ya ya itu. I run out of words already ya, Alia. You carry you carry the team. Ah, uh, uh, I ada lagi satu. Um makanan yang kita bawa masuk dalam hutan. So senang tak perlu masak-masak. Can put. Hmm. Something <laughs> else? Bread. Very close. We're ready to eat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, what? We're ready betul to eat. Ah, red, red. Yes, it's red food. Haiya, almost lah, can lah, can lah. Fancy, boleh ya, fancy. Can lah, fancy, can lah. Same Boleh meaning lah. Ha. <laughs> oh, lembut hati fest ini. Okay. Uh, so next topic, oh. right? Maybe we we'll let the group number five to try to lead. Who's number five, ah? Uh? Uh, number five is Ame. Mm. Oh, so lucky. Okay, Ame. 
you become the fasci now. You choose to be people. All right. Wait, eh? Bagi kat siapa je ni? Um, pilih je. Siapa? siapa. Uh, so I will choose Uh, Yejin. Okay, eh? Okay, uh, ada. Uh, dia cakap penting masyarakat. Uh, Selina, Selina, uh, your mic. Topik yang Oh, tiga orang ya? Ada satu lagi kan? Tadi mereka oh. punya dua. Itu macam mana? Oh, lagi satu. Uh, Marhana boleh ke? participants can open their eyes and get ready to answer. So, uh, Yijin can start first. Okay. 
When you very cold, you will. <laughs> Shake. <laughs> Shiver. Ah, you will ring. Are you? <laughs> Shake. <laughs> Nancy, is this chic? <laughs> shiver, shiver. Shivering, shivering. All right. Uh, Farhana? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, what topic? Yeah. Topic <laughs> Everyone's so blue. Ini untuk Yejin hypothermia. Untuk Farhana tadi heat of exhaustion. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, Yejin. Next, um, when your leg is very, very pain towards. Sangat sakit loh. Leg pain. <laughs> <laughs> Lab. Leg cramp. <laughs> Almost. Your leg got what? Muscle cramp. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 just, just kidding. Uh, Rusa. Uh, was it muscle cramp just now? Yes, yes. Ah, muscle cramp. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> In, uh... Dizzy. Kenapa susah sangat lah? Kenapa susah tadi? Dizzy ya? Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. So we continue. Yeah. Okay. What you can check from here? My Your pulse. pulse. Then, when someone is uh, not comfortable or short breathing, this one will... Disappear. Low heart rate. Low pulse. Uh, almost. What pulse? What pulse? Weak. Weak pulse. Uh. Weak pulse. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I just took a... <laughs> Funny, oh my god, headache. Oh, Selena, you know her a lot. Headache. Very king, are you? Headache. 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 Farhana, heat of exhaustion. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Selena, you just took her like that. <laughs> Don't even know the topic. <laughs> ah. You can proceed. Uh, number four. When someone... What uh, the topic is? 
Hypothermia. You hypothermia lah, awak. Don't like this. Misalnya hypothermia, it will look like. Pucat. Pale what? Pale white. Pale face. Almost. Pale white. Not only face. Whole body got. Vein, skin. What is that? The largest organ in our body. Skin. Why? What happened to skin? The looks Selena. and Selena, what happened to the skin? <laughs> pale skin. Ah, pale skin. Oh yeah. La. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Susah sangat ke? Okay, Ken. <laughs> Period. Sweaty. Sweaty. Heat exhaustion. Heat exhaustion. Sweating. Boleh lah. Boleh lah. Kamu boleh act out lah mah. Esok nak susah tadi. Saya tahu jawapan mah. Ada lagi ya soalan. It's fun eh, isn't it? No, it's funny if there's someone funny in your group. If there's no one funny, then yes. it's not funny. <laughs> the answer. <laughs> no more questions already, ah. No more, ah. Too hard, ah. <laughs> Pahana still have, ah. I like your questions, ah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, so now what? End of the section already, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, boleh tutup? They, they... Siapa yang handle session ni? Boleh tutup cara yang proper? Conclusion, something like that. Yes. So sekarang kita kan ada kat Discord. So kena minta mereka balik ke Google Meet ke atau tutup terus kat Discord. Hmm, saya rasa terus dekat Discord. Sebab semua sesi boleh handle sana. Yeah. Jangan pusing-pusing yeah. pusing. Yes, agree agree. Okay, let's choose another leader. Who leh? Hmm. I haven't heard from Xian. Can Xian try? Yes, Ilovna. Yeah. She sleep already. I know. Oh, okay. Okay. It's you. Stop laughing, Alia. We know what happened last time, ah. Okay. Ah, Xian. We we done the playing. So how you going to lead them? To close. Okay. Um. Yeah. Our games is done, everyone. Um. Terima kasih kerana menyertai slot satu dan game game kita sekarang sudah selesai. Okay. Oh, kejap. Lepas kita game ni kita per kita lunch break kan? Okay. Ya sangat lapar. Ah yes. 
Uh, <laughs> lepas game ni kita akan uh, berehat untuk lunch break dan jangan lupa pada jam 2 nanti kita akan sambung dengan slot yang seterusnya thank you semua bye thank Jumpa you jam 2 nanti. oh yes finally end another one another one <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. We try another, another one. Another person. Hey, we try Jun Hao lah. Don't know he's here or not. <laughs> you think Jun Hao here? Or he just open? <laughs> I think he just open lah. Hello, hello, Jun Hao. Jun Hao, Jun Hao. Yeah lah, he just open lah. <laughs> uh... Maybe we try uh, Isyani. Mm. I can't talk. Oh, I okay. can't talk. <laughs> okay, sorry. Misunderstanding. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's okay lah. We're pranking you only. <laughs> uh, Isyani, you like to try to close with your uh, group members? Mm. Is, is, Yani, is, is Yani here? I like um, or what? No. Okay. <laughs> my my problem. Okay. Uh, Suzuka, Suzuka, who is Suzuka? Ah yeah, Aisha. Technical, I cannot. Uh. Oh. I don't like this. Are you? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Tiba <laughs> tiba, Aish. Oh. <laughs> Eh, saya Suzuka. Nadia. Ya. Ha, tutu macam mana? Okay guys, I'm going to stop the recording already ya. Thank you for letting me record. Eh, uh, Nadia, Nadia. Ha, Nadia, Nadia try. Nadia here. Hello. I hear you. Uh, okay, cuba buat throw keluar. Apa ni? Flow keluar? Uh, throw keluar daripada slot uh, game ni untuk ke lunch break. Okay. Okay, jadi adik-adik macam mana game? Best tak? Best. <laughs> Tuan nampak semua pun jadi kumpulan kita. Uh, kita akan kira markah tau uh, setiap group ni. Kalau mar- kalau group kita dapat yang paling tinggi, nanti kita akan dapat hadiah. Okay, hadiah jadinya apa? hadiah apa? Tu kita kena tunggu dulu. Nak nak tengok hadiah apa, kena tunggu sampai akhir uh, uh, camp apa? Camp. Camp ha. Uh, sampai akhir camp kita. Uh, jadi Uh, kita dah selesai dengan sesi pengajaran dan juga game untuk slot 1 dan kita akan sambung slot 2 pada pukul 2 petang nanti jangan lupa dan sebelum tu kita akan ada lunch break dulu dan itu sahaja daripada kami minta maaf atas segala kekurangan dan segala masalah teknikal dan insyaAllah semua boleh Uh, live dan uh, dan and enjoy your lunch break. Okay, nice dia. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay. So now we be at everything. I stop laughing. Ah, uh. yeah. <laughs> Try to be serious now. <laughs> right, everything and already. Ah, uh. okay. So, uh, sh- Selina, should we move to the comments? Yeah. All right. So, okay. Maybe we let the SG members to say how they feel first. 
Okay, you guys okay with everything tonight? Or you feel something weird? Or you want to ask something? Okay, except Discord. Yeah, everyone's worried about Discord. I was thinking about if Discord cannot use, right? Then maybe technical, you guys have to prepare like eight eight other Google Meet links, maybe. Uh, that's the alternative. Yeah. Mana tau haya the Discord. Oh, okay. Why? Want to say bye bye already? Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, nak tanya Madia. Oh, okay. Madia, uh, ataupun SG yes. one. Um, hari tu try Discord. Uh, kan lagging juga. Um, time tu, uh, Meet Google Meet buka sekali ke tak? Ataupun buka Discord saja pun still lagging. Ah, uh, saya buka Google Meet sekali. So lag like, juga. Yang lain saya tahu. Oh. Uh, yang lain ada yang buka Discord saja ke? Ataupun memang semua hari tu buka Google Meet and juga Discord and then dia lagi. Saya buka Discord just still okay. lagi. Tapi saya buka dua-dua. Tak lagi. Hmm. Uh, maybe sebab lain kot. Uh, if like that, then maybe you you guys really need to uh, uh technical really need to to share the links ah uh, eight links Google links. Mana tahu ayah. Kan? Okay, I think. I think <laughs> Uh, most uh. of us, I think most of us will will definitely face uh, technical problems. So I think for now, our backup plan is to have eight Google Meet links. All right. So that one, that one, I will. Uh, that one, like afterwards, protocol activity and technical stay back for a while. We will we will discuss about this further, and then uh, and then once we have the final decision, we will let everyone know. Okay. And uh, right now, let, uh, let's just stay back to our agenda first, which is the the debrief session. All right, because right now it's uh ten o five ready, and we wouldn't want to drag it, drag for too long. Um, anyone else still want to share, or do you have any questions that that uh that we can help you with? It's better to to resolve everything by uh to resolve everything by tonight, so that it won't so that your questions won't get dragged later on. Okay, if no one wants to take over, then then I say something. Uh. Okay, so I noticed that uh, when we share screen, there's the little blue blue and white color box under there. It asks you, you want to hide or not? So yes. I think it's, it's better you hide. Lah. Hi, yeah. Always blocking my 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 view. I cannot see uh, the video. Uh, block, block the subtitle. Hi, yeah. <laughs> okay, but... I think this one no worries because uh that day everything uh will be handled by AJK Technical. So that means all of the slides, the videos will be passed on to uh Aish and Fahana. So uh that's something I wanna mention uh, because Farah just now said she wants to uh take over the slides, right? So that's not gonna happen that day, uh. Take note. Uh. The, the ones who are going to control the slides that day for the whole camp will be AJK Technical. So if you want anything special, you, you must tell them. 